Hi, it's Miss Patty from the Cybrarium, and today we're going to go ahead and make a straw rocket ship. Remember we spoke about that uh, after we went ahead and read our, the little rocket? Well, we're going to make one ourselves, so this is what it's going to look like. It's a straw and a little rocket ship that you're going to design yourself. So let me show you how we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this on uh, Facebook on the Cybrarium Facebook page, and it's gonna be placed in Miss Patty's Corner. So you're gonna see things in there that you're going to be using for activities and crafts in the future. So this uh, is going to be placed so the outline is there, so that you can go ahead and color in any way you like and design it any way you like. So giving you an example of one, I went ahead and colored in these, and um, then I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out. So I'm going to cut around the edge of each of, of the rocket ships. So we're going to start out by cutting. So I'm going to go one by one. Take one, and I'm going to begin to cut. Cut all around it as best as you could. If you need help, of course, you're going to go ahead and ask one of your family members. So I was able to cut these two out, and you could see that they have the same shape. So I'm able to put one on top of another and glue it together. But I saw that I went ahead and did not finish coloring mine. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. I want it to be completely colored. So you can do it yourself and you can choose the colors of your very own straw rocket ship. That's going to be launched very, very soon. It's a lot of fun. Let me finish up here. Okay, so then I'm going to turn there. I'm going to turn them like this. Put the front button on the table. And I'm going to take a glue stick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the middle completely without the glue. So I'm going to put my finger. I'm going to go around and around. Put lots of glue because it has to stick. It has to be airtight. Rocket ships have to be airtight. Very important for launching. And I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to go ahead and put my finger in the middle. That is where the straw is going to go. So I want to keep an open area there. Then I'm going to take one of the top, one of the sides, and I am going to place them right on top. Try to match them as well as possible and then I'm going to press down and make sure I seal it in all the different places. Now sometimes you may need to go ahead take a little piece of tape to go ahead and seal the bottom part I've noticed. So what I do is I just take a little piece of tape I seal that bottom part and then the other part where the boosters are, and then we have our very own rocket ship. We have this one too that I've made, and you could see this is a straw. You can use it in any one. It goes right in there. Make sure that's nice and tight. Make sure all of it is fine. And you've got your very own straw rocket ship. Are you ready to launch them? Are you ready to launch your straw rocket ship? Well, I am. Three, two, one, blast off. Yay! I'm going to do it again. <laughs> that was fun. So you just pick it up and put the straw back in. And I've already made all of these. These are all ready to go too. Maybe you'd like to do this with some friends and see who can go the furthest who can go the highest. That'll be a lot of fun. Three, two, one. Blast off. There it goes. Bye, I hope you have fun with it.